We just competed in my first ever show and first, thank you for the overwhelming love and support, all the messages, honestly, the real trophy. However, the second most asked question is Mike, how to quickly get a six pack? I searched to see what were the best answers out there and this video pops up. 67 million people watched this. I've done this year after year and improved upon my research and knowledge. Lost fat and gained muscle at an improved rate every year. And I'll give you all the honest information you need. But before we dive in, do me a favor and hit the like button. This should be the video that helps everyone searching for this kind of information. If you're new, subscribe and hit the bell button so you get a notification when I upload. How to get a six pack. The quickest fix is a medical procedure called liposuction at the cost of $3,500 with many health implications. 400,000 procedures are performed in the US alone. I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction. The next option, the best option requires your consistency, your hard work and dedication. Watch the end of the video and I'll give you everything you need to successfully achieve your weight loss goal and to get a six pack. Now, four simple steps to get a six pack that will be covered elaborately. We will start with a diet as they say is king. Secondly, training which is essential to structure and still deeply undervalued and utilized. Thirdly, cardio, the tool everyone loves but suboptimally uses. And finally, we'll finish off with supplements. Abs are made in the kitchen and you can do all the workouts and cardio in the world, but without the correct diet, never will you see your abs and that used to be me. Energy balance, the simple science of fat loss. It dictates your weight gain and weight loss. Energy balance is the relationship between the energy you feed your body via food and water and the energy it expends. This is measured in kilocalories. Our internal organs consume 60 to 70% of our energy, also known as our basal metabolic rate. 10% is utilized in what we call TEF, thermic effect of food, the energy required to break down and store our food. 20 to 30% that is attributed to our physical activity, which we'll cover in steps two and three. In more simpler terms, your body stores fat when you eat food and burns fat when it runs out of energy. Visually, it looks like this. The green portions are the period where your body is in excess energy due to eating food. And the blue option is when your body has no energy left from food and thus has to burn fat for energy. Step one, the diet. Meaningful weight loss requires energy expenditure exceeding energy intake. Rule number two, macronutrient balance. A macronutrient or a macro is any of the nutritional components of the diet that are required in relatively large amounts protein, carbs, fats, minerals, fiber. This is important because we don't want to lose weight quickly, we want to lose fat. Eat too little protein and you'll forever struggle to gain and preserve muscle. Eat too little carbs and you're going to have trouble building muscle and making progress in your workouts. Eat too much fat and you're going to have to dramatically reduce protein and carbs intake to compensate. So the perfect blend is enough protein to build muscle and maintain muscle mass, carbohydrates to fuel your body through the workouts and enough fats to maintain hormonal homeostasis. Week one of the diet, the macros are exactly 190 grams of protein, 350 grams of carbs and 50 grams of fat. The diet consisted of one scoop of VHP Labs isopept protein. For my micronutrient base, I also included 500 grams of watermelon, 50 grams of muesli, 500 grams of rice, beans and turkey bowl, 500 grams of pumpkin, 160 grams of oats, 6 caramel rice cakes, 2 packets of iceberg lettuce, 500 grams of 96% lean ground beef and 140 grams of protein ice cream. This diet was perfect for me. And as you can see, I tracked everything using an app called MyFitnessPal. Over the course of the next few weeks, I decreased the portions. Let me show you. In week two, the macros were 190 grams of protein, 330 grams of carbs and 50 grams of fat. All I did was remove 100 grams of watermelon and I halved the amount of muesli to 25 grams of muesli. Week three to six, we had 190 grams of protein, 310 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. We changed the macros in week seven to 185 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of fat. In week eight, we moved it to 185 grams of protein, 250 carb, and 45 grams of fat. 
In week 9, we moved it to 185 grams of protein, 230 carbs and 45 fats. Week 10, 185 grams of protein, 200 carb and fats at 45 grams. Week 11 to 12, 185 grams of protein, carbs at 175 and fat at 40. In week 13, 185 grams of protein, 150 grams of carbs and 40 grams of fat. Step 2. Training. Using a push, pull, leg split. Push, which included chest, shoulders and triceps. Pull, which is back and biceps. And finally, legs. Take a day off and then repeat. Stick around till the end of the video and I'll direct you to where you can find my free program to get kicked off. Tip number one. I highly advise you do training before cardio as it's more optimal for fat loss. Tip number two. Each workout day, I performed 8 to 10 exercises at minimum, with 4 sets each at a rep range between 8 and 12. Between each set, take 1 minute rest at maximum. This ensures intensity. Tip 3. Always start with a compound exercise. Tip 4. Perform each exercise with correct form to adequately stimulate the target muscle. Tip 5. With each exercise, each set, and each and every single rep, Challenge yourself, push your limit and train smart. This is where you earn your meals and you really burn fat. If I could choose three workouts for my abs to do the rest of my life, it would be leg raises, four sets by 10 to target the lower abs. For my obliques, cable wood choppers to target my side obliques, contracting it and breathing out at contraction. And finally, cable crunches to target the entire rectus abdominis. All of them 4 sets by 10. Step 3. Cardio. I plan to do a more in-depth cardio related video, but for the purpose of this one, let me explain exactly what I did. My cardio was divided into two forms, formal and informal. The informal included steps, which normally consisted of taking walks with blue. This way, I ensured I was active outside the gym and increased my energy output. And my formal cardio, which was my cardio done in the gym. Notice, with my formal cardio, we can manipulate the frequency in terms of how many times per week and the time spent on the treadmill. So this was my breakdown week to week. Week 1 to 2, we did 3 sessions of cardio at 30 minutes and taking 10,000 steps. Week 2 to 4, 3 sessions of cardio at 40 minutes taking 12,000 steps. Week 4 to 6, we increased it to 4 sessions a week at 45 minutes taking 13,000 steps. At this point, we maintained my steps at this rate throughout. We then changed week 6 to 8 to 5 sessions of cardio at 45 minutes. Week 8 to 10 at 6 sessions of cardio at 45 minutes. Week 10 to 12, we did 7 sessions at 45 minutes. Week 12 to 14, we did 7 sessions at 50 minutes. And week 14 to 16, we did 7 sessions at 60 minutes. And number four is supplements. And that's exactly what they are. They supplement your fitness goals. Now, you have to have your diet in check. Training, cardio, then we want to focus on supplements in terms of importance for me. What I used through my entire prep and what I felt I really needed was number one, a whey protein. Specifically a hydrolyzed whey protein from HP Labs. My favorite flavor is the coconut peanut butter. But this is great as a post-workout as a pure protein source to allow your body to repair. Number two is a oxy shred, which is labeled as a fat burner, but what this honestly does, it gives you a lot of more energy throughout the day. So when you're expending energy that you get from this, you are consequently burning more fat just because you're more active. And I have felt so much better, and this has helped my fat loss. What I noticed is I don't have any plateaus when I lose fat. This has helped me consistently lose weight without any issue. Number three, for me, is an RP Max, which is a pre-workout. Now this gives you a lot of work energy, this gives you a lot of power, and what this has helped me with is training in the gym, my lifts and my expenditure, my energy in the gym hasn't decreased, even though my diet get, tends to get a lot more strenuous. The RP Max has helped me maintain my strength and also given me the energy needed, even in a caloric deficit. Finally, branch chain amino acids. Because my cardio elevated to such a high level over the entire prep, branched chain amino acids 
force my body to be in protein synthesis and prevents protein degradation and also helps and prevents muscle wasting and rather than lets my body use fat as an energy source rather than my muscle tissue and I'm going to go for some pre-workout And that is my step-by-step -step transformation. If you have any questions or things that I left unclear or any things that I didn't answer, do ask me in the comment section. I do have a reputation of answering every single question. If you did enjoy the video, hit it with a like. If you're new, subscribe and hit the bell button. Come on, guys, you're slacking. I only know about 10% of you who have, so hit it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.